Hi, hello and welcome to autopostingtools.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how Google Free Proxy Scraper works. So, uh, here we have um, the software. Whenever you purchase it, you will get the 120 modules that we have are all the ones that you're going to that we're going to be adding more. So, in order to test this, we're going to go to the scraping section and we're going to go to the Free Proxy Scraper. So, this is what you will get uh, on the free proxy scraper and this is going to get you 200 US proxies uh, for free. So you click get proxies and this is going to go and it's going to start downloading all the proxies and put it, them for you in the list. In this case, this time it gets you 117 and 75 proxies. So in the old days you could just select this, copy the port, the IP, copy the port or copy the IP and the port together or add it to the list and you will be able to select which proxy you wanted to copy and they will be coming here. But um, you also could clear the list and it will show up like that. But nowadays what we do is basically we click add all the, all the, all the proxies to the list. So this is the list that we have here with 175 proxies. And now what we need to do is we need to test these to see if it will if they will work. So what I do is I click copy. I could open a notepad and save them if I wanted to to test it in another software, or I could use the software that we have here, which is going to be into uh, here mm, more tools proxy checker. So we type it there, and here you import from the from the clipboard, and here you have these. So you paste it inside and then you click import from the list. Now here uh, we have the, the list of our proxies. You could add one manually and then add it. You could clear it. You could delete some of the ones that are already selected. And then you will click check proxies and then the good proxies will go to this list, which you can copy open a notepad and paste them, paste them and save them and the bad proxies will go to this other list. Now I'm not going to do it because it's 175 proxies and it will take some time to check all of them but uh, that's basically how it works. Now you can also import the proxies from your text file so if you save it from the previous uh, from the previous uh, sample uh, you could also load the txt file and then analyze those. Now uh, we have both uh, we have two places where you could get even more proxies if you if with these ones that we provide you are not enough. So here you will have these ones right here. So you could go freeproxylist.net and then you click open URL and that will open up and then it's going to give you a list of more proxies. So this one has around 300 proxies. Now if that's not enough you could go to another one, NordVPN proxy list and here uh, basically, it's the well, it, it was the list there, and here we have a free proxy list open, and here you have another list of free proxy sites. So here you have a place where you could get a lot, a lot of proxies. Now this is if you wanted to get proxies, if you wanted to get um, like web browsers, um, web web proxies instead of like using your, your proxy through your web uh, network, you could close this and then you could go here to the web proxy list. Here, what you could find is that, let's say we go to this one. We click on visit and this is going to give us this page. Like obviously all these different pages uh, are going to give you the, uh, web proxies. So if one of them doesn't work for the site that you want, you could try with another one. And then let's just go back to the site that we uh, that we created. Yep, so this one is not good for our example. Let's say let's say this one. Visit. So this is the the. Imagine this. You wanted to access a site that is blocked on your country or whatever. So you could type here http to dot slash slash google. Point com, and then you click on go. And this is going to go and it gets you the content for Google with an IP that is not your IP. Uh, in this case, it shows a Netherlands uh, IP, but uh, you get the point. You get an IP uh, that it's not your IP, so you won't get blocked. In this case, uh, depending on the on the site that you choose, are the different IPs that you are going to be able to get, and some of them 
let you choose which IP you want uh, or from which country and then that way you can navigate to different sites. So here if you type in the IP you can allow cookies, you can remove scripts uh, and so on. So this is really useful if you want to navigate or to access a site that doesn't let you that, that doesn't give you access because of your country. And basically that's basically how this uh, works. So if you want to get these and all the 120 modules that we have, you could do so in autopostingtools.com. Uh, so thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.